Want to speak real Chinese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at ChineseClass101.com. Twenty travel phrases you should know. Let's get started. 我可以要一张地图吗 Could I get a map? 我可以要一张地图吗 Could I get a map? Map, map. If you use your hand gesture enough, I think Chinese will know what you want. Yeah. 你会讲英语吗 Do you speak English? 你会讲英语吗 Do you speak English? So when you see m at the end of a sentence, Chinese sentence, you will know this is a sentence for asking a question. 什么什么 m? What what m? 有没有从机场进入市区的巴士 Is there a bus from the airport to the city? 有没有从机场进入市区的巴士 Is there a bus from the airport to the city? So in China, since we have a, a big population, especially in the airport or in a train station, sometimes we need to line up for the taxi. So it may be a very useful sentence when you get to the China for the first time. Wi-Fi 是免费的吗 Is the Wi-Fi free? Wi-Fi 是免费的吗 Is the Wi-Fi free? Another common question is, what is the Wi-Fi password? Wi-Fi 的密码是什么？今晚有房间吗 ？Do you have any vacancies tonight? 今晚有房间吗 ？Do you have any vacancies tonight? So different from English, we put the time in front of a sentence instead of at the end of the sentence. So 今晚 means tonight. 我可以换一个其他的房间吗？ Could I move to a different room? 我可以换一个其他的房间吗 Could I move to a different room? So when you are not satisfied with the room, maybe it's filled with smoke smell, you can use this sentence. 我可以换一个其他的房间吗无烟房无烟房 means non-smoking room. 我有预定 I have a reservation. 我有预定 I have a reservation. You can use it in a restaurant or in a hotel. 可以给我们看一下菜单吗 Could we have the menu, please? 可以给我们看一下菜单吗 Could we have the menu, please? 菜 means dishes. 单 means list. So a list of dishes it means menu in English. 你有什么推荐吗 Do you have any recommendations? 你有什么推荐吗 Do you have any recommendations? So speaking of Chinese dishes, my favorite one is tomato fried eggs, 西红柿炒鸡蛋 I strongly recommend it. Please try it. 可以给我结账吗 Could I have the check? 可以给我结账吗 Could I have the check? So in China, when you go to a restaurant, go having dinner with your, especially your close friends or your family, um, one special, one Chinese specific situation might happen. Like everybody will fight for check. Could I have the check? 我可以结账吗 It's not so often heard, but instead it's like, I want the check. 我要结账 Yeah, in China, people like paying for their close friends and family. 我对花生过敏 I'm allergic to peanuts. 我对花生过敏 I'm allergic to peanuts. Among my friends and my family. I've never heard anybody is allergic to anything. I guess we were born strong. 请给我一杯水 Water, please. 请给我一杯水 Water, please. I would recommend you to say, 请给我一杯冰水 because in China, many people like hot water. Me too. I like hot water. So, if you do not add 冰冰 means ice. So, 冰水 means Ice water. So if you don't add that, you probably get a hot water. This is how much? How much is this? This is how much? How much is this? So if you go shopping in China, if it's not department store, usually the price is not written on the product. So the merchant may offer different prices depending on the people. You have to always ask and always negotiate. Otherwise, you will get overcharged. But also enjoy the fun of negotiating the price. 我要十个这个 
I'd like ten of these. 我要十个这个 I'd like ten of these. If you feel this sentence too long for you, you can say 这个我要十个 or you can say 十个 This is Chinese way of showing ten. 你能给我打个折吗 Could you give me a discount? 你能给我打个折吗 Could you give me a discount? So, like what I have said before, in China, negotiating price is very common, except the department store. So this could be very useful. 能刷信用卡吗 Do you take credit card? 能刷信用卡吗 Do you take credit card? In China, personally, I don't use credit card so often. I do use my cash or like. An account in my phone, so I just show my phone. It's like Apple Pay. It's very easy and convenient. 火车站在哪里 Where is the train station? 火车站在哪里 Where is the train station? So we put where at the end of the sentence in Chinese. So be careful. Reverse the order. 请问车费是多少 Excuse me. What's the fare? 请问车费是多少 ？Excuse me, what's the fare? Usually, you use this sentence when you take a taxi. So when you get to the destination, you can ask the taxi driver. 请问车费是多少？能不能帮我拍张照 ？Could you take a picture of me, please? 能不能帮我拍张照 ？Could you take a picture of me, please? Instead of asking this favor in a question, you can also say. 请帮我拍张照 Please take a picture for me. 这是去机场的巴士吗 Is this the right bus for the airport? 这是去机场的巴士吗 Is this the right bus for the airport? Ten questions you should know. Okay, let's get started. 你住在哪儿 Where do you live? 你住在哪儿 Where do you live? Which street? 住哪条街啊、uh, Which building? 住哪个房子 ？And also, you can just say that I live with my parents. 我住父母家 ，or I live in hotel. 我住宾馆。你叫什么名字 ？What's your name? 你叫什么名字 ？What's your name? Ah,、uh, it's a really common and basic question. That's the more advanced. Like, 您贵姓？ It's very respect to this person. Just、uh, ask what's your family name, and also in China, Yin Gui Xing is more common than what's your name. Maybe. <laughs> 你好，你叫什么名字？我叫包雨婷。It's more advanced conversation. 啊、uh, ，你好，呃，请问您贵姓？免贵姓包。你在哪儿工作 ？Where do you work? 你在哪儿工作 ？Where do you work? Maybe you can answer like the city. For example, 我在北京工作。I work in Beijing. And also, you can answer the company name. You can answer like, 呃、uh, ，我在某某公司工作。你多大了 ？How old are you? 你多大了 ？How old are you? Hey hey hey! It's a secret question. But for this sentence. 你多大了 ？It's like to ask the small children, age from three years old to twelve years old, maybe. Uh, it's like, hmm, 小朋友，你多大啦 ？And、uh, for the teenager, especially for girl, you can ask like, 嗯、uh, ，您芳龄几何？<laughs> 请问您芳龄 ？It also means, uh. Please tell me your age. And、uh, for the senior person, you can never, never use this sentence like 您多大了？您几岁 ？Oh no, you, you must、uh, ask like, 请问您高寿？你来自哪儿 ？Where are you from? 你来自哪儿 ？Where are you from? If you really want to know the the hometown, you must ask. Ah,、uh, 您老家是哪里 That means where is your hometown? Where are you come from? And、uh, if you just uh, speak, ah,、uh, 您来自哪儿？你来自哪儿 Maybe I can answer like, 
啊、uh, ，I came from Beijing University。你说什么 ？What did you say？ 你说什么 ？What did you say？ If you can't hear clearly about the question or the word from other people, you can ask. 啊啊，不好意思，您说什么 ？If you feel very shocked about the words, you you can speak like. 啊，你说什么 ？It's 什么？<笑>洗手间在哪儿 ？Where is the bathroom? 洗手间在哪儿？ Where is the bathroom? It's a survival Chinese, guys. You must、uh, know that. And also, I highly recommend it. You speak more polite, like, "Oh, 不好意思，请问一下，洗手间在哪儿？" The person maybe will answer you, "Ah,、uh, 你看，就在那边 ，just over there." 你在哪里学的中文 ？Where did you learn Chinese? 你在哪里学的中文 ？Where did you learn Chinese? I learn from YouTube channel. 我从 YouTube 视频上学的。I learn by myself. 我自学的。啊、uh, ，我的专业是中文。My major is Chinese. I learn from school. 我从学校里学的。你学中文多久了 ？How long have you been studying Chinese? 你学中文多久了 ？How long have you been studying Chinese? 一个月，两个月。Uh, be attention about go, one month, two months, and also you can speak one year, two year. There is no go. If you don't want to tell the person how long time, the exactly time, you can speak ah, 没有多长时间 not so much time, or uh, it's been a long time. Uh, 学了很久了。你的生日是什么时候？ When is your birthday? 你的生日是什么时候 ？When is your birthday? For a Chinese person, uh, like my family, it's a traditional family, so we use the、uh, lunar calendar, yin li, and I will say, 我的阴历生日是几月几号。And、uh, for you, absolutely, you use the Western calendar. If you want to shock the native speaker, you can answer like. 我的阳历生日是几月几号 ？That means, uh, my Western calendar birthday is 几呃、uh, which month which day? Ten phrases you always want to hear. Hmm. You 今天气色不错。You look great today. 你今天气色不错。You look great today. Hmm. 你今天气色不错哦。For girls, you can say like. 你今天真漂亮。That means you are so beautiful today. For boys, you can say like, 嗯，你看起来真精神。今天，嗯 ，That means you look great today. 你真棒。You are awesome. 你真棒。You are awesome. Chinese people like to compliment people, especially during the working or study when you make a small. Progress. They will say some compliment like, "You're 真棒 You're awesome. 你是对的 You're right. 啊、oh, ，你是对的。今天真的下雨了。呃、uh, ，You're right. Today is really raining. 你是对的。今天真的下雨了。You're right. It's raining. 干得漂亮 You did a great job. 干得漂亮 You did a great job. You are playing basketball and、uh, you got a goal. And your teammate will say, "You did a great job. 干得漂亮。我想你。I miss you. 我想你。I miss you. For I miss you, maybe you can use the very close friends and family member. But if you want to say I miss you to your teacher or your boss, you can speak like 我很想念您。And also, this sentence is. Like just to use for the letter, and if you want to email your teacher, and you can speak, ah,、uh, 敬爱的老师，我很想念您。我给你带了些礼物。I brought you some gifts. 我给你带了些礼物。I brought you some presents. 
In China, if your friends invited you to their home for the dinner, if you want to keep the good manner, uh, it's better you bring some gift. The present doesn't have to be very expensive, just like fruit and tea, it's okay. 月底发奖金! There will be a bonus at the end of the month. I think everyone loves the salary, is that right? And also in China, in the end of the year, during the Spring Festival, every boss, the good boss, will offer the employee a big bonus. We call it 红包。你身材真好! You are in good shape. 你身材真好! You are in good shape. To be honest, guys, this sentence is really, really important. So please remember this. 你身材真好! Especially when you meet a girl, you can speak the so first, 你真漂亮! The second, 你身材真好! That means you are beautiful and you are in good shape. The girls will be really, really happy. 你做的对, you did the right thing. 你做的对, you did the right thing. I think everyone wants to do the right thing, right? And uh, someone will say, uh, you are right, you did the right thing. It's great. 我有一个惊喜要给你. I have a surprise for you. 我有一个惊喜要给你. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Actually, sometimes when someone tells you, I have a surprise for you, you will imagine here, what kind of surprise? And sometimes it's really a surprise, a gift, but sometimes just your friends want to trick you. And uh, your friends will offer you a um, little creature. My friends always trick me like this. Want to speak real Chinese from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at ChineseClass101.com. 10 phrases to amaze native speakers. So let's begin. All roads lead to Rome. For this phrases, you can use uh, when your friends fail the exam, and you can say that, ah, oh, it's okay. 条条大路通罗马, all roads lead to Rome. 有志者事竟成, where there is a will, there is a way. Even though Chinese is a little bit hard to learn, there is a will, there is a way. 即使中文有一点难学, 但是有志者事竟成, you can do it. 千错万错都是我的错 It's all my fault You can use this phrase to your girlfriend or your boyfriend It's really helpful, trust me If you annoy your boyfriend or girlfriend You just say 千错万错都是我的错 I guarantee that your girlfriend or your boyfriend will laugh and um, don't angry anymore 我只花了一年时间就说的流畅了。It took me only one year to become fluent. Actually, I think it's a little bit hard. If you are really spent one year to become fluent, you are genius. 你说的我全都能明白。I completely understood everything you said. Maybe you speak this sentence to the Chinese native speaker. They will shock. 你学中文多长时间啦? How long have you been learning Chinese? 嗯,我已经学习中文十年了 I have been learning Chinese for 10 years Wow, it's really a long time 10 years, 10年 How did you learn Chinese? 你怎样学中文? I learned Chinese all by myself 我自学中文 Oh, that's quite difficult to learn a new language all by yourself 谢谢,其实这不是我的母语 Thank you, but I'm not a native speaker, actually If you can't speak the Chinese like the native speaker I guarantee you are the superstar of China 马马虎虎, that means careless and also have the meaning of just so-so For example, your friends maybe ask you Hey, how's going, guys? 你最近怎么样? Uh, you can respond like 马马虎虎 That means just so-so, uh, nothing special 
and also it's a、uh, can be adjective like you are careless. Ah,、uh, 你做事总是马马虎虎的 You are careless doing something all the time. 不好意思 There's a very very careful sentence in Chinese. It means it have several means. First. Excuse me if you want to draw someone's attention. Second, I'm sorry. Ah,、uh, 不好意思，我迟到了。嗯、uh, ，I'm sorry, I'm late. And the third, embarrassed. Like、uh, someone say a lot of good words about you. Ah,、oh, you are so beautiful. Ah,、oh, you are so impressive. You can speak. Ah,、uh, 我不好意思了。Today we are going to learn top ten phrases you need for a date in Chinese. The first one. 我晚上可以请你吃个饭吗 ？Can I buy you dinner tonight? 我晚上可以请你吃个饭吗 ？Can I buy you dinner tonight? 吃饭 means have dinner, have meals, have lunch. 吃饭吃 eat. 饭 means meals. 吃饭 means having dinner, having lunch, having three meals. It's all 吃饭 So 请吃饭 means I will pay. 请吃饭。我请你吃饭。你 means you. 我请你吃饭。我请他吃饭。他 means he. So I will buy him dinner. I will buy you dinner. Buy you dinner. 请你吃饭。Buy him dinner. 请他吃饭。请吃饭 means I will pay. 请吃饭 I will pay. 这个周末有空吗 ？Are you free this weekend? 这个周末有空吗 ？Are you free this weekend? Actually, comparing to this question, personally, I think you can ask: 你是周六有空还是周日有空 Are you free on Saturday or Sunday? So you actually leave the person you want to date A or B. But if you ask 这个周末有空吗 you leave like yes or no. So they have another choice, which is no. But if you say 你是周六有空还是周日有空 Are you free on Saturday or Sunday? So both are yes. So it's a the trick. 我们去 K 歌吧 Let's go to karaoke. 我们去 K 歌吧 Let's go to karaoke. Karaoke is very popular in China. I think karaoke in China is the best because the machine in karaoke plays. Are very cool and new and easy to use, and we have songs from all over the world.、Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I really recommend you to go to karaoke with your friends and your date. 你太可爱了 You're so cute. 你太可爱了你太可爱了 You're so cute. 你真美 You look so beautiful. 你真美 You look so beautiful. It's more, it's more written language. I think 你长得很漂亮 is pretty, pretty enough. 你很漂亮 you're pretty. 你真美 is too official and、uh, a little unnatural. 你今晚玩的开心吗 Did you have a good time tonight? 你今晚玩的开心吗 Did you have a good time tonight? So after you hang out with your date. You can ask how he feels, how she feels about tonight. You can say, "In 今晚玩的开心吗？你吃饱了吗 ？Did you get enough to eat? 你吃饱了吗 ？Did you get enough to eat? Usually we do not ask this question, but I think it's kind of a necessary question in the date because usually dating place is kind of expensive and you get a small portion. So maybe you still want ramen after dating. <laughs> 我载你回家。I will drive you home. 我载你回家。I will drive you home. More commonly used in the states, I think. 我送你回家。It's more common, I guess. Like, I will take you home by bus or by train or by taxi. 我载你回家 is like I will drive you home. 明天我们什么时候见 ？What time shall we meet tomorrow? 明天我们什么时候见 ？What time shall we meet tomorrow? 到家了，告诉我。Let me know when you get home. 到家了，告诉我。Let me know when you get home. I I like this sentence. It sounds very considerate. Yeah. Top ten phrases your parents will always say. 小心 ，be careful. The first one. 小心 ，be careful. 
Yeah, I think my parents always say that when was a kid, 小心 be careful, or、uh, when go abroad to study. Um, yeah, they always say that in in the phone, like 小心别吵了 be quiet, 别吵了 be quiet, 要乖 be good, 要乖 be good. At my age now, my parents do not say it to me anymore. It's more like、uh, words to say to younger kids. 快去写作业 go do your homework. 快去写作业 go do your homework. Yeah, this is often. I overheard that. I heard it every day, maybe, in my school days. Actually, if you're in China, you say 快去快去，快去 is quick. Um,、uh, 去 is go to do something. Like Chinese are more impatient. Maybe I don't know, but we say that often. Like 快去，快去洗澡 Go do take shower. 快去吃饭 Go have dinner. Is like push you to do something fast. 快去，快去睡觉去 Go to bed. 睡觉去 Go to bed. Don't watch TV anymore. Go to bed. 不要再看电视了。快去睡觉，睡觉去。我数三下。I'm going to count to three. 我数三下。I'm going to count to three. Ah,、uh, this is ah、uh, this is very old saying. I'm not sure if modern Chinese parents are still doing that. Hmm, maybe to small kids, not to me. 好了好了 ，Okay, that's it. 好了好了。Okay, that's it. That's why. Eh, I think you can use it in your fighting with your date. Like you want to close a discussion, you want to close a fight. You say, "Oh, okay, 好了好了 Okay, okay, that's it. It's my fault. Okay, okay, that's it. 好了好了 It's your fault. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. 好了好了 It's my fault. It's like that. 你说什么 What did you say? 你说什么 What did you say? As a kid, if I said something really bad, really I intentionally say something bad, intentionally make my parents angry. Like I don't want to study math, I don't like math. So what? It's like that kind of disrespectful words, and my parents will get so mad, and they will say, "What did you say? You said something." They feel surprised. I will say something. I already know it. Bad. So they will ask me to repeat it, and at that time I will be silent. Of course, I'm not gonna say that again. 你这孩子怎么这么不听话 ？Why do you have to be a bad kid that never listens? 你这孩子怎么这么不听话 ？Why do you have to be a bad kid that never listens? Yeah, this is often said in China. What? Yes, yes. Even now. I heard it、uh, sometimes from my parents. If I don't do something that they wish or suggest, which is socially considered as good, but I don't do it, they will say,、oh, "Why do you have to be a bad kid that never listens?" 把电视关了 Turn the TV off now. 把电视关了 Turn the TV off now. 把电视关了 Yeah, I heard it often. I love to watch TV. From my childhood until now, yeah, that's why I heard it often from my parents. Ten phrases to help you in an emergency. 请报警 Call the police, please. 请报警 Call the police, please. 警 is a shortened form of policeman, so 警察 means policeman. So if you say 请报警 It's like actually, please call the policeman for me. But it's too long, especially in an emergency. So just say, please call the police. 请报警请报警 Or you can even say, 报警 Call the police. 你发烧吗 Do you have a fever? 你发烧吗 Do you have a fever? So if you have a fever, you should reply, 我发烧 I have a fever. 我发烧了 I have a little fever. 我有点发烧有点 a little. 嗯，我有点发烧，我发烧了 
If you have a strong fever, you can say, 我发高烧了，我发高烧，我的护照丢了 ，I lost my passport. 我的护照丢了 ，I lost my passport. 丢了 means lost. 我的钱包丢了 ，I lost my wallet. 我的车票丢了 ，I lost my ticket. 我想我吃了不好的东西了 ，I think I ate something bad. 我想我吃了不好的东西了 ，I think I ate something bad. So I heard from my foreign friends if you go to visit another country, you easily get diarrhea. It's not because you ate something bad or not hygienic enough. It's just because your stomach, your body hasn't got used to the food yet. I don't get that so often, but if you, if you feel your stomach is a little weird, please go to hospital and but don't blame Chinese food. <laughs> First, maybe your body hasn't got used to Chinese food yet, especially authentic Chinese food. 我需要一位医生 I need a doctor. 我需要一位医生 I need a doctor. So when you have a fever. 发烧 have a fever, we just lonely. Or if you ate something bad, 吃了什么不好的东西 ate something bad, you need a doctor. Doctor means 医生 I need a doctor. 我需要一位医生我需要一位医生 Or you can say 我要看医生 I want to see a doctor. 我找不到回酒店的路 I can't find the way back to my hotel. 我找不到回酒店的路。I can't find the way back to the hotel. Actually, as a Chinese who live in Shanghai, sometimes I couldn't find my way back. If I in a place or in an area which I'm not familiar with, but taxi is very convenient in Shanghai. So don't forget to bring the card where the location is written. It's very helpful. Just show it to the taxi driver. You will find your way back to the hotel or to anywhere. 附近有药店吗 Is there a pharmacy nearby? 附近有药店吗 Is there a pharmacy nearby? So in China, the pharmacy is not open twenty four hours, as far as I know. It's not as convenient as in Japan. So it's quite a useful. Phrase or sentence for you when you are living in China, but if you go to hospital, hospital is twenty four hours. So if you go to hospital, usually you will find our pharmacy close to the hospital, but not close to your home. So convenient as in Japan, even you can find medicine in the company stores. 你可以帮我吗 Can you help me? 你可以帮我吗 Can you help me? So this is a very common phrase to use when you are asking help. Or you can add, "Um,、mm, could you please help me?" 请问你可以帮帮我吗你可以帮帮我吗 It's more polite way of asking help. 请问你可以帮帮我吗 So when you are in an emergency, like. When you fall in the sea but you cannot swim, you're asking help. So in Chinese, you exclaim, 救命救命 help help help! I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna die. Help! 救命 That means help. 我迷路了 I am lost. 我迷路了 I'm lost. In China, as a foreigner. Frankly speaking, maybe it's easy for you to get lost because the Google Map is not available in China yet. So this is a very useful phrase for you to ask help if you lost your way. 我迷路了，我迷路了 ，I am lost. Can you help me? 我迷路了，你可以帮我吗？我觉得有点不舒服。I'm not feeling well. 我觉得有点不舒服。I'm not feeling well. 我觉得有点不舒服。So you can say when you drink too much, when you feel dizzy, or you feel your body temperature is higher than usual, and、uh, when you feel too tired from walking, 
you can say, 我觉得有点不舒服。